My name is uh, Finbar, Dr. Finbar Brereton from School of Geography Planning and Environmental Policy here in University College Dublin. Uh, my research is on the economics of happiness. So it's quite, a, quite an interesting uh, topic, I think, for, for people in general, certainly the, the general public. And what had been looked at initially or previously in, um, in the, the research area was people's socio-demographic and socio-economic characteristics. So issues like being married, income, your education status, and where you live as well. So your uh, issues around your housing, do, do you own outright? Do you own with a mortgage? Do you rent or uh, rent from the local authority? But what hadn't been looked at uh, at all up, up to, to when I started my own research, or very little, was how the environment affects happiness or subjective well-being, as, um, as it's called in the, in the literature. And so we looked at issues like climate, uh, we looked at pollution, and then we looked at people's local areas, so the area where people actually lived. So we found that climate was quite uh, interesting. So people don't like extremes. They don't like really cold or really hot um, climates. And in terms of uh, an Irish context, it was quite interesting because we found that areas with more rain had happier people. So people complain about the rain all the time, but yet we find this link. Uh, and how we rationalise that is that it seems to be linked to more beautiful landscapes. So the more it rains, the more beautiful uh, your landscape. In terms of pollution, we found a significant negative effect of air pollution, noise pollution, so pollutants that actually harm human health. Uh, the, for myself, anyway, one of the most significant findings was on your actual local area. So where you live really, really matters. The distance from your home to a major infrastructure, like a, a major road, an airport, uh, a landfill site, these, these issues, these um, objective factors make a big, big, big difference. So it's quite a, I think it was quite a, it's quite an interesting uh, area. And what I'm doing now in my own research is moving to the European level. So that was quite an Irish specific case that we looked at in terms of environment. And what we're doing at the moment is moving it to the European level. Initially, I read some, some research on the determinants of happiness. And I was just fascinated by how it went against what people would kind of t think of immediately or your, your intuition of what will make you happy. So generally we strive for more money we strive for better jobs, uh, we strive for better cars, and yet none of this seems to matter in, in terms of your, your well-being. It's much more down to the social factors. So uh, your family, your friends, and as, I've, as my, my own literature would show, the, um, or my own research, the environment is very, very important. So the reason that people seem to, to strive for these, um, for, for want of a better word, um, uh, the more extrinsic goods, so your car, cars, bigger houses, is because they're much easier to compare. So for example, if I was to pair, compare my marriage to your marriage, unless you're divorced, it's very, very difficult to compare my relationship with my children to your relationship with your children, your friendships to my friendships. So we actually seem to place less emphasis and put less time into building those sort of relationships than we do on, it's easy to see that I earn more than you because I have a, a bigger car than you, or that you have a bigger house than me, so you earn more than me. These are very, very easy things to compare. And people seem to get, unfortunately, put much more emphasis on those factors than they do on what the literature would show uh, actually influences happiness. The problem is we need to get that information out there, out there much more. So hopefully this will go some way to doing that.